Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Antoinette. And before I get into the video, I want to say Happy New Year's, okay? This is going to be the first video of 2022 that I'm posting on my channel. And it's going to be a hair review of this beautiful wig that I purchased from Beauty Forever, okay? So before I get into this video, I want you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also make sure that your bell is turned on so you don't miss any uploads from me, okay? So now let's go ahead and get into this review. All right, you guys, so this hair right here, I end up purchasing with my own coins, of course. I end up purchasing this hair from Beauty Forever. And you guys, I was looking for something full, something big, something curly, because I wanted to try something, you know, a little different. Um, this one right here, this is their Jerry Curl wig. It is a five by five lace closure wig. It is 180%, yeah, 180% density. The color is a natural color and the length is 24 inches, okay? So it's pretty long. Um, I end up cutting it, which you'll see. I think I recorded me cutting some of this hair off, but you guys, I love this hair. I've had it in for two days now, okay? And it doesn't really shed. It doesn't have a smell. It's so soft and it's so full. Now, for reference, I always tell you guys I'm about 5'4", so I'm gonna turn around so you can see how long the hair is. So it's a pretty decent length. Um, like I said, I ended up cutting it because it was too long for me. And then I also ended up putting like a few layers in it, you know, in the front or whatever. And I think it's so pretty, you guys. This hair reminds me of Janet Jackson from like the early 90s. It's so pretty. Um, now, the part, as you can see, uh, that it says HD. Um, in the video, I do show you in the video, I do do like a, I do show you how it looks when I put the lace towards my hand, and it's not bad, but it did need a little bit of work. And so, for a beginner, this may be, you know, it may be a little hard for a beginner to manipulate the lace and how, you know, trying to get it to blend. But I worked with it. I figured it out. Um, I end up cutting the lace, and I end up applying some foundation under the lace to kind of tint the lace, and then I also. Um, apply a little bit of concealer to the part just a little bit not a lot and I left my real edges out So right here. These are my baby hairs <laughs> And I didn't want to put any baby hairs on this side because I think it just looks more natural this way um, Of course it came as a middle part, but you can wear it as a, as a side part like I have on here and You guys when I say this hair is full it is full this again is 180 percent density and Yeah, now I did wet it. I didn't I didn't add any products to this hair, okay? I didn't add anything to this hair, but water. So all I did was went through and I sprayed each section with some um, water and I kind of just let it air dry. And I love the way that it looks like this. Like I like the fluffiness and how big it is, okay? So in the next clip, I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks um, once I cut the lace. It's also, I'm also gonna show you how it looks straight out of the pack, how long it was before I actually cut the layers in it. And then um, I'll come back with my final thoughts on this hair, okay? So stick around. All right, you guys, so I want to show you how nice this hair came packaged. It came in this beautiful silk bag that says Beauty Forever. It also came with a wig grip, which I thought was neat because the wig grip actually helped my wig from slipping. So this really came in handy. It also came with a wig cap. It came with some nice lashes. And then they also included this little uh, gift set. It was like a necklace and a charm. So yeah, so this is everything that the hair came with. And I just wanted to show you guys how, you know, how well the packaging was with this hair. And here she is, you guys. So I'm just showing you right now, again, how long it came. This is before I actually cut the hair. Again, it is 24 inches. It is very full. And I also went through and plucked the part with my hand, um, just very slightly. I didn't do too much, but I just went through and plucked the part with my hand just a little bit to give it more of a natural look.
Okay, so right here, I'm just taking some scissors and I'm just cutting some light layers to frame my face. And I'm looking in the mirror so I can kind of see, you know, how it's looking. Um, this probably isn't the best tutorial for uh, cutting layers, but I'm just cutting it at an angle. And sorry you guys, I did not show how I cut the lace and how I actually glued the unit, but I just used some got to be glued. And like I said, I took some concealer and put it in the part. And this is how it came out. Um, I was a little bit pressed for time because I was on my way out, but I did want to come back and give you guys my final thoughts of this hair in case you are interested. All right, guys, so if you watched the video, then you've seen how long the hair was before I actually cut some layers into it. Um, I didn't do anything drastic. I just cut some light layers just to frame my face a little bit. Um, the next time I install this hair, I will definitely, I will try a middle part, but I feel like the side part kind of flattered my face a little bit more. And again, I didn't put any product on this hair, any mousse, any oil, any anything, just water. That was it. And I just like I just let it air dry because I like the way that it kind of I love the luster and I love the way it's kind of like, you know, fluff is out once it dries. So that's about it, you guys. Would I recommend this hair? I definitely would. Um, is it a beginner friendly wig? Hmm, on a scale of one to ten, I give it about I would say seven as far as beginner friendliness because I feel like you do have to do some manipulate into the lace a, li a little bit more than just, it's not, it's not a throw on and go wig, okay? Let's just put it like that. You definitely have to do some manipulate into the waist to get it to your liking. I know I did. I had to, you know, cut a little bit more. I had to go in. I had to put some concealer on the part. I had to, I took some um, eyeliner and kind of like, you know, faded it in just a little bit. I had to pluck the part, you know, so just keep that in mind if you are looking at purchasing this wig. But it's a definitely, it's definitely a beautiful vacation wig, okay? This is something you would probably, you could probably wear to Jamaica, Bahamas, you know, it's waterproof, water resistant, whatever you wanna call it, but it's definitely vacay approved, okay? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this wig. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. All right. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. All right. Till next time. Mwah. Bye, YouTube.